This is a hard episode to talk about, really. Just because of one simple factor. It's very spoiler heavy. It's very spoiler heavy. So if you haven't seen this episode, come back. Uh, watch the episode, come back after you're watching it. Hear my thoughts on the episode. Then, you know, comment below. Let's have this conversation. If you've seen the comments, be warned. There might be spoilers attached to it. So, warn that. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 3, titled The Airless. And this episode is absolutely fantastic. This episode is a fantastic episode. Because what you have here is a, basically a quest movie, really. Where you had The Mandalorian is given the task to go to, basically needs to do this to get, needs to do A to do B. And he's done the, hey, I live with this guy's wife and his kids to, to back to his husband. So he done that. The deal was do that. And, you know, he will find out where the other Mandalorians are. Even though, I swear to God, that, that, that jar of eggs, that jar of frog eggs, there was, I swear there was less on that first shot of those eggs in this episode then 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 ha and then the last shot of last week's episode i swear to god baby is, is is eating those eggs away he's like go 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 and every time manda was like i know you're hungry hungry he just has his snacks he just has his snacks it, it was so the snacks is right over there it, it was in the open palms what are you talking about he, him being hungry I don't understand. The last thing he ate, shit, he, you know, spiders everywhere. Anyway, anyway. So it's trying to be a little bit humorous here. But these Mandalorians that he finds, this is when we hit the spoiler territory once again. And that is one of the Mandalorians is Bo Katan. Now, if you don't know who Bo Katan is outside of this episode, she's a character. Who's been around in, in, in animation form in uh, Clone Wars and Webbles. So this is the first time fans of those shows are going to see this character in live action form. And actually play by the actor who voiced her, Kate Sackhoff. And the thing about it, 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 which is quite interesting. It'll be also quite interesting when we jump to, a th in a couple of episodes time. When we see Soko Tano. Um, and that is, that bridge right what is okay in animation that might not be okay in live action what might feel white might come across as under the form but over the form in a live action format and the thing about it watching this episode i'm like like i have i think have i was i in clone wars oh yeah it's in the last ep the last four episodes of that of, of clone wars so there's, I have a brief introduction with both of them. So you may say this episode is my first fully introduction of her. This this character is stoic and is like, you're Mandalorian, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you with the quest. Now I'm going to tell you about half of what I asked you to do, but... I'm not going to give you the full picture of it in a very stoic, a very interesting, a very engaging way. That is really well done, really well performed by um, Katie Sackhoff and all that. And it, 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 you're just surprised that, because I, I knew that the camera was there, I, I saw the design, and I, when, I, when Bogotan starts speaking, because we see her just f with the mask on, I'm like, that's not, that's not Sackhoff, right? That's not, that's not. Yeah, a detective essence. That's not um, Battlestar Bal Galactica. Like, what, 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 what? That's um, that has to be someone that takes off his hair. It's um, and if you Google the character, what the character looks like, animation, the guy who hundred percent nailed the design of the suit, of the look of the character. Basically, it's a you know, girl with it's a, a woman with sh a mini short wet hair. It's short long hair it's it's nothing amazing but you're like oh, okay they nail you in the look down which is i think if you're a fan of that character it's really well put together um it, it's i i have a feeling we're not done like i feel that 
Circuit Tunnel is going to be a episode, but this I think both Tan will be maybe showing up in future episodes or just you know maybe the Anali you know do the whole thing the whole journey of this season you know in one last episode in the last episode of, the, of this season um but that I, I I'm like the one thing I'm going to be curious about is what is the general public's reaction to this because let's be honest not everyone's only like Five percent of people of who are fans of Star Wars have seen Werewolves, have seen Clone Wars. So for a lot of people, that it's their introduction to the character. So that could be quite interesting to see. But other elements, you got you know a cool action sequence halfway, which is most of them. You know, is the Mandalorians shooting? It's and shooting, and then you know stormtroopers and all that. So that's a cool thing and. You have a little bit of uh, 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 um, Kali Akazigo's character. I can't. I, I'm blanking on the character's name. Um, showing up on it, w saying, "You know, long live the Empire." Which I have a feeling he's a character who's trying to live, have the Empire live on, or is denial over the Empire's gone. So he's keeping. Like, the Empire's gone, no it isn't, kind of thing. Like, Vader and, em and the Empire's still there or something. So it'll be into it in, in his head. So it'll be interesting what that character's mindset of that. Because it's hints to the Darksaber, which is, I understand it's a big thing in, once, it's there, once again, in Clone Wars. So it's interesting seeing all this, like, interesting technology and all, all these interesting things that happened in it that might be that are from other law and definitely heavy in other law in you know, animation coming across in this live action environment it would be quite interesting once again to see what the general public's reaction to this but it's it's a really this is a really good episode uh by Stanis howard who directed this episode and of course is the actor and and is the daughter of uh one howard of course who directed solo Solo, a Star Wars story, she did a really good job of this, and it's it's a, just a really damn good episode, just an absolute damn good <laughs> watch, watch it. If you're a Star Wars fan, so, did I mention both of Tans in this episode? Did I mention that? No, no. Well, she is, so yeah, that's a reason. That.